Good evening. You're not going to see much. It's getting dark. Um, see, it's the sky. Anyway, um, I've been working this week. Nothing much exciting going on. I've been trying to keep up on things on the periphery. I don't do near as much research as I was doing before, but I still try and keep an eye on things. Um, I see that the famous network, um, that has a new streaming news station only lasted a month. Um, $300 million. Gone. Gone. Just such a waste. These people are so wasteful. Just imagine what good could be done with uh, money sometimes. I, I'm, I'm sad we're tied to a monetary system. Nothing really is fair or good about it since day one of the beginning. It has been misused, abused, um, and separations have been made. Um, and just in a different way. And I think it's quite prevalent right now. You can see that there's uh, definitely a division. And the ones in charge are the ones screaming about we need to tax the rich. <laughs> well, see, that's not really the way it works. When you create the taxes, then it goes to mainly the middle class. And the wealthier pay the tax attorneys to find whatever loophole they need so they don't pay taxes still. That's the way it works. Or they pay minimal compared to what they make. Very minimal. They have ways to hide it, you know, write-offs and all this kind of stuff. I mean, if you really get into the taxing system and kind of have a, you know, a little bit more than a surface, surface level understanding, um, just do your own taxes and itemize one year and you'll understand a little bit better um, how it works. And it needs to really go away as it is right now. A lot of things need to go away as they are right now. But uh, we have a lot of people dependent on this system. And we are all partially to, at least, in more ways than we wish to admit. And uh, to change, it's going to not be easy. But it needs to be done. But I don't know. But the irony I find in that you know, this particular network is not successful. Actually, none of them are. If you look at their viewership, it's horrendous. You have people on, you know, on their own doing better <laughs> without spending millions of dollars to do it. It's just crazy. You know, somebody's doing a better job of reporting the news in their own home. Um, with, you know, decent equipment, but, uh, I'm trying to light this candle without burning my finger, because the wick is getting down in there. Anyway, um, but the crazy part is, is we all know what they've pr been promoting the last couple of years, which is, uh, the loss of our rights and uh, one of the biggest populations hit were the elderly and the elderly are the ones that watch them 
in one of my videos, I mentioned that the first to go will be the first, that the ones that support all of this. They don't see the bigger picture. They don't understand by hurting people in certain sections of the population, they're actually destroying their audience. They're destroying what enables them to sit in their high pedestals in the television making hundreds of thousands, sometimes an episode, millions a year, and telling us how we need to just take it. You know, it's for our own good. Where their life doesn't really skip a beat. Actually, they make more money. Maybe things will turn. I don't know. I really don't know. And I don't really want to know. <laughs> you know, you, you do those little mind things in your head where you're thinking, would it be best if I just knew so that I could know? No, it would never be best. God gave me a taste of that. It's never best. There's been several times in my life where people close to me, I knew within the hour that something really bad had happened. And they were dead a state or so away. And I knew three months prior to my brother dying, I told my aunt. So there's somebody who definitely knows that he wasn't going to live much longer. He also knew it too. I told that story a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, I asked God to take that from me. It's, uh, it's a curse. It's really not useful at all. I can't lock anybody in a closet and tell them not to live. And there's really nothing you can do. So, I, I don't like that kind of premonition type thing. Not when it comes to losing somebody. So I don't think it would actually work out to my benefit to know other things either. Definitely. But I can get feelings. I can have ideas. I can pray about things. I can try and discern the truth from the lies. And that's all I can do. And that's all you can do. But in the meantime, we need to live. And we need to prepare. Always. Especially spiritually. Prepare. Ask for discernment. Ask for forgiveness. And ask for hope. Pray. Pray. I've told you that I'm being chased down by a mosquito. They love me. I mean, love me. Like, sorry. They absolutely love me. Obviously, I didn't get the candle lit. Anyway, I got distracted. But, and I've lost my train of thought. But, um, you need to be ready spiritually and ask for help. Ask for help. Ask for protection. Ask for guidance. Remain humble. Always.
I've asked for help seriously in the last three months and um, it's coming to fruition. And it, and it brings tears to my eyes. Because I couldn't control any of it. I could only pray. And uh, it's true mercy to um, see what's happening. And it gives me hope. It gives me hope. So when you can't do it, and it's out of your control, which a lot of things are, especially when it comes to other people, pray. Pray. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. And also understand that everything's not going to always go like you want it to. And the way you want it to. And sometimes things will go bad. But remember, it's not our father. Who did it? We do it to ourselves. Just ask him to give the spark to people. And hopefully they take it. And they nurture it. And they keep the light lit. That's what you pray for. Y'all have a great evening and have hope. Love to you all. Good night.